What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Frank and I react to metal music. Today I'm here again with One OK Rock and this time with our song Stuck in the Middle, Life in Manila. <laughs> and apparently, as the title says, uh, Taka Jump is amazing. <laughs> I know that uh, the name of the vocalist in this band is Taka. I believe Takashi, right? And um, yeah, his, his voice is definitely amazing. Uh, I think it's my favorite part in the band so far and they play, mm, I think, kind of a classic classic rock slash pop rock kind of music and they delve into art rock too, like um, classic art rock that is uh, as I've seen in a song that I reacted before and uh, in general their, their kind of sound is very classic rock, I think, like, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong and uh, musically speaking, I can tell they're amazing, but even though they are not metal and I'm more of a metal person kind of guy, you know what I mean? But I can tell their sound is very cool and uh, I enjoyed the, the um, latest song that I reacted from them a lot, which was Deeper Deeper. And you guys suggested me this one, uh, telling me that this one is supposed to be uh, a little bit heavier too, I think, a little bit faster too. At least that's what you told me, guys. And uh, yeah. I'm quite interested in reacting to this one and uh, the fact that you guys seem to really enjoy my reactions to One OK Rock so far so uh, that makes me really happy and uh, of course as long as I see that you guys are gonna enjoy my reactions uh, to them I'm gonna keep reacting to them that's basically how this channel works <laughs> But yeah guys, before I start, please subscribe to the channel if you like the video, leave a like and a comment if you have more suggestions uh, for me for video to react uh, or you know, just want to say hi or want to tell me something interesting about this band. And let's start. This is a fan cam by the way I think, right? Oh, as a, as a side note, uh, Taka's English is really really good, like uh, uh, native, native level I think, right? Is he like a Japanese American or does he live in the US or he lived in the US for a long time? I'm curious, please tell me in the comments. The crowd is uh, going crazy. Pretty long intro. <laughs> the crowd is totally insane and a lot of uh, female voices This 
I mean, once again, this song is a little bit different from the others. This one's got a little bit of a, we'll say, more modern uh, type of rock feel to it, right? Kind of, rem kind of remembers me of, uh, you know, when Linkin Park went a little bit more melodic, it's a bit more popular sound. It's uh, still rock, of course, but got that, um, I would say, almost like co co commercial-like sound to it, you know? It's uh, uh, more melodic, softer. Uh, but still very fast, still rock, of course, still very hard rock sound. And uh, yeah, that's it's got the very modern feel to it. I think it's like the beat, uh, the drum beat and the uh, singing style, which makes it sound, you know, very uh, 2000s, like uh, classic hard rock. Like, not very classic, modern classic hard rock, would say, yeah? That something in the middle. <laughs> and the song is called uh, Stuck in the Middle, you know what I mean? <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Pretty enjoyable song though, for sure. Ooh. A little bit of screaming there from the bass player, I think. Man, now, now that is a very energetic, crazy crowd for sure. I like it. I think that is a guitarist, so not a bad player, but yeah. Oh, it's a bass. Never mind. Breakdown? Yeah. Favorite part instantly. <laughs> Gotta say, really, really enjoy, uh, you know, uh, their vibe, generally, like in their music, you know what I mean? Uh, like this one uh, was very melodic, but still very fast, still very rock sounding, very enjoyable to listen, you know, not, not the heavy. Uh, per se, like the deeper, deeper. I think it's so far it's my favorite because it was a little bit more, even more rock, a little bit heavier sounding, a little bit more technical sounding, and that's those are the things that basically I look in music uh, nowadays, like more often. And uh, you know, this one was very cool though. I enjoyed the rhythmic part to it specifically, and of course his voice, like Ta Taka's voice, is amazing as always. I think uh, he's like male male singer speaking. I think he's one of my favorites so far for sure. Like he's uh, he's like his, his voice is very versatile. You know what I mean? Like his tone, like in uh, his uh, richness and his tone in his voice is definitely one of the best that I have heard. He's a very cool singer and he can speak English perfectly, which is not very common for Japanese uh, you know rock and metal artists. There are only a few that can do that, right? And that, of course, helps him uh, sing even better in English, of course. 
and that is uh, I think that you know I'm not a native English speaker of course I'm Italian but I can speak I, I think pretty decent English right and um, you can tell you can tell when a, a person that is singing in English actually can speak English or cannot speak English you can tell them like immediately so yeah and that is the definitely very cool of him and uh, yeah, definitely a very cool song. The rhythmic part got a little bit of um, punk rock too vibe, I think, which is uh, I think a common thing on in a lot of their music uh, that I heard so far, at least. Uh, yeah, definitely I enjoyed this one and cool song. But yeah, guys, if you liked my reaction, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave me a like and a comment. If you have more suggestions for me, just wanna say hi or whatever, and definitely see each other in the next one. Rock on.